Yo, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this warped bulge transition in After Effects. So let's just hop right into this thing. If you guys want to save time while editing with drag and drop assets, presets, and editing packs, my site was literally made for you to save you all of that time and money. Everything is super easy to use, but enough yapping. Let's just get right into this thing. So I'm transitioning from this clip into this clip. And if I want to simplify this for myself, I'm just going to pre-compose these two layers together and then create a new adjustment layer just like that. And it's gonna start off with just this teensy weensy little circle right here. So you're gonna have to increase the horizontal and vertical radius like this. And then anything within the confines of this circle is going to be stretched out like this. And essentially you can do this in a positive value or a negative value. And today we're gonna to be doing this in a negative value. So pretty much stretch it as much as you can until you're getting those little black circles right there. And you just wanna stretch this out kind of as far as it goes. Um, and then as well, what you can do is you can bring these closer together if you want that bulge to stand out a bit more. And right in the middle of these two clips is where I want the peak of the transition to occur at. So I'm going to set the bulge height at a negative value. Um, I think we can bring this all the way down to negative four. And then on either end, I'm just gonna bring this bulge height back down to zero like this. And a key here is highlighting these keyframes and doing F9 to easy ease them. Or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. This is gonna allow you to open up your graph editor. And I'm gonna make a graph that looks like this. So I'm just pulling all of the values to the very center and it's gonna create this kind of bouncy effect like that. And again, you know, keep playing with the horizontal radius and vertical radius until you get something that you like. And this is what I have so far. So I like how it's kind of catching the top of his head at the beginning of this clip right here. Um, I think that that just makes it look a little bit smoother. And then the next thing we're going to do is we can create another adjustment layer or we can just pre-comp this whole thing, which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm just gonna tap S on my keyboard, bring up scale and then zoom in just a little bit. And I'm gonna set my transform keyframes in the middle of the clip. So right here, and I'm just gonna zoom in on this a bit. And then on either end, I'm just gonna click reset like that so I can set my keyframes how I want them. And then as well, again, I'm just gonna easy ease my keyframes again. And now here in this case, I'm also going to change and move all of these keyframes over to the center again. So again, you know, just kind of repeating this process, pushing everything to the center like this. So we got something that looks like that. And then you can continue to mess with the center value like this. And then you can bring this out. And then I find if you just continue to mess with this, you can get some interesting looks. So right now I have something that looks like this to create kind of that bounce. And sometimes what you're going to get is some black edges around this. So to fix that, what you can do is add on the motion tile effect and then just increase the output width and height or the tile width and height and then click mirror edges. And that's going to fix that right up for you. And now the next thing we can do is add on a new adjustment layer and add on turbulent displace. And then you can set keyframes for amount and size and then just slightly increase the amount a little bit. And then on either end, bring that back down to zero, just like that. And then pull up your keyframes by tapping U on your keyboard when you have this layer selected to bring up all the used keyframes and then do F9 again, and go ahead and just repeat that graph. So just pull everything to the center, just like this. And typically what I find looks really good is when you bring the keyframe that's on the left closer to the center values, and then the one on the right, pull this out a little bit more. And then as well, if you guys want to change the transform, you can move this over um, however you want and that's going to change everything about this effect and you can create some really crazy and trippy variations to this as you see if i increase the scale and all that you're going to get some weird looking warps in there but to sauce it up even more what i'm going to do is add on a new adjustment layer and add on the lumetri color effect and then i'm just going to set keyframes for everything at the peak of the transition and then increase the contrast, decrease the saturation all the way, increase the highlights, the whites, and then bring down the shadows and the blacks all the way. And that's just gonna create this effect right here. 
and then on either end bring everything back down to their default values like that easy ease these keyframes and then copy these keyframes to the other end so it returns to normal and that's just going to get this kind of nice black and white effect and then of course what you can do as well is add on sapphire flicker and set the amplitude at any value and then just simply set this at zero on either end again and then if you want to as well you can highlight all of these and pull up your speed graph and then recreate the same graph that we had already recreated on all of the other values so it's just going to ease those colors in and out and then again i'm going to pull these keyframes that are on the right out just a little bit further and i almost forgot the other effect that i want to add on a new adjustment layer is the universe heat wave effect which is created by red giant universe if you guys don't have this it's all good but if you just increase that intensity at 100 in the center and then make sure to keyframe blur them out as well. When you pull up these keyframes, bring it back down to zero like this. And then that's just going to add that extra warp in there. That's just going to make it look really nice. Same thing. Just going to pull these keyframes closer to the center. Pull these keyframes out further and then recreate that graph. And then finally, what I wanna do is create a new adjustment layer and then add on RSMB. And if you guys don't know what RSMB is, it essentially adds on motion blur. And this is what the final effect looks like. If you guys wanna save time while editing with drag and drop assets, presets, and editing packs, my site was literally made for you to save you all of that time and money. Everything is super easy to use. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace out.